All right, so let's take a look at the markets. Um, we got uh, CPI coming out in about uh, 10 minutes. Okay, this was uh, yesterday into the close, what, around 3.30 or 1.30 into the close last night. Remember, let me blow this up. Your best setups you're going to see, guys and gals, is when you get into this zone area, your first retracement is going to be the best. This started it out yesterday where we, we were looking for red, red ATR dots or green ATR dots on the momentum chart. And then we followed up. This is the five sim Renko. So they both matched up yesterday. So you just need two of the three charts matching up. Once you get into the zone, as long as we don't close above the zone, we don't, we don't want to close a couple candles above the zone. As long as we don't close above the zone, we have red, red uh, ATR dots. We look for green, opposite color, speed bars. So once you get these speed bars or volume spikes, your entry is going to be an oscillator that you use or the oscillator below to pull yourself in. All right. So that started a big short. We came down. If you don't want to take these trades that are away from the zone, you don't have to. You get a lot of opportunities for zone trades. But if you're going to take these trades, make sure they land on symmetry and won't close above symmetry when you get pulled in on my symmetry dots. That indicates major weakness. Once again, also it pulls you in. We're going to do the same thing with news today. CPI, then the market's cranking back down. See how, see how symmetry holds? The market's really weak. Symmetry holds again. You get an opposite color speed bar. This indicates a major possible reversal. Oscillator pulls you in. We keep coming down. Those over 40 S&P points, 160 ticks, potential ticks. First target off. But then we hit the final zone here and get a big push. That's your best trade. This one also, first target off. Oscillator pulls you in. Into the close, into the zone, another big push down. So you can see what you can do is you can keep riding this down, right? You want to sell low, buy lower, or buy high, sell higher. So that's the five sim Rinko over here this morning. We're not trending right now. Waiting for news to come out. Well, you want to see this chart really turn six red or six green and then start going to work. So right when it turns six green or six red like this, this is the big indication of a big trend coming. This gave us all the indication in the world right there that that move, that 40 point move in the SP or 160 potential ticks would potentially start right there. That started everything at 1.41 yesterday in the afternoon. We get the opposite color speed bars, oscillator pull us in, then we get cranking down. Your best setup you're going to get, this is the ultimate setup you're going to get in the trading room. If you're below all six red or, all, or above all six green and you come up to the, to the lower, you come up to the lower zone and you don't close above it and you get pulled in with an opposite color speed bar, this is the ultimate setup you're going to get on any market, any futures, any stocks, any currency. That's the best setup you're going to get. You're below all six red, all six green. You crank down. We get another one. Then you come into deeper to the second zone. That's our, our, our intermediate zone. Rolls over, hits intermediate zone, rolls over, hits the lower zone, intermediate zone, rolls over. So you see my point. But it all starts right here, guys. It all starts with six red, six green. 